My name is John Eckert. I'm an applications engineer in the stationary work holding group here at Chum. Today I'm going to talk about aligning our Vero S clamping stations to your machine table. All you have to do is set them up once, never look back. Vero S clamping stations are the industry's most trusted zero point system. Setting them up on your machine allows you to free up your most skilled operators for more complex tasks. They allow for your company to be more flexible and more competitive in the market. Today I'm going to demonstrate the alignment of this NSL3200 clamping station on our FANUC Robo Drill. The method that I'll talk about today is applicable to most machines and all of our standard clamping stations. Let's talk a little bit about preparation. First thing that you'll do is clean the machine table as well as the bottom of the clamping station free of any chips or burrs. Then you'll want to apply a light oil to prevent rust from forming. Traditionally, you would align something like this by sweeping the critical surfaces and making a series of adjustments and measurements, tapping it in along the way, not unlike how you would align a standard machinist vise. But to reduce the complication of setup on our clamping stations, we've integrated these slots for slot tenons on all of our standard clamping stations. These allow you to use DIN 6323 loose slot tenons uh, to pre-align the clamping station for quick alignment. These are available in sizes uh, 12 to 18 millimeter T-slots. To set the clamping station on the machine table, first bring in your clamping station and then sit your loose slot tenons in the T-slot channel that corresponds with the slot on your clamping station base plate. You can then slide in the slot tenons. They should slide in freely and stick out slightly. Make sure there are no chips inside the T-slot where your tenons are. Next, we bring in our BRR50 clamps. These come from Shunk in an undrilled state and need to be drilled for the appropriate T-slot and screw that interfaces with your machine table. You can reference the Vero S clamping station operating manual for the recommended locations of our BRR50 clamps for your specific clamping station. Once you have these in place, we can snug them up Just hand tight. And now comes the most critical part of aligning the clamping station on the machine table. When we put our slot tenons into place, they're slip fit. So there's an air gap between the metal of the slot tenon, the machine table, and the base plate. So what we're gonna do is push the clamping station on both sides towards the back of the machine to create a metal on metal contact on both sides between the clamping station and the T-nut and the T-nut and the machine table. Now, we can tighten down the BRR50 clamps, starting with the front side to maintain pressure towards the back of the machine. Start by snugging these down, then the rear clamps, then tighten them to full torque. Now that the clamping station is aligned to the T-slots, we can validate its position by checking the Vero S module locations against the machine coordinates. I'll do this by first probing a data module in one of two places, either the inner taper or the ground OD of the module. This data module should always be in a corner of the clamping station. Once you find the center of that datum, move in increments of 200 millimeters to the furthest opposite module and sweep that module to assess any alignment error. Our modules have an assembly tolerance in the base plate of 200 millimeters plus or minus 15 microns in X and Y and this stacks for each module. When you measure the alignment error on the module opposite to your datum, consider the stack up of that assembly tolerance. To show the repeatability of the Vero S system, as well as another check to make sure that we're aligned to the machine table, we can now install one of our contact KSCF vices on the clamping station and sweep the ground face of the fixed jaw. So to recap, we installed one of our Vero S clamping stations on the machine table. We checked the alignment of the clamping station using the module's ground surfaces. Then we brought in one of our KSC F vices, swept the ground surface of the fixed jaw to check for alignment, and now we're ready to make chips.